All right, let's talk about the optional project, which is the poster grid. Um, so you can do this if you want, you don't have to. However, it's sort of a neat way to show sort of your best pictures um, at the end of the, the uh, class. So what I'm gonna do is open up the grid template and if you notice over here in my layers palette, I have all these different numbered layers. And each number or each layer represents a box in my grid. Okay. So the first box is going to be this first one. The second one's going to be this one. All right. So what I want to do is when I drag the pictures over, I want to make sure that I'm dragging from the edited picture folder from each project okay so if I had some pictures I want to take from project one I'm gonna go into my saved edited folder and drag them from there because those are ready to go okay so let's pretend that I'm grabbing this one over here from the edited folder and I'm just gonna drag and drop it over here somewhere Okay. Now, most of these are going to be larger than the box, obviously, and this one is horizontal. Some will be vertical. So you're just going to have to sort of figure out how you want it to look in that box. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is move it up over this first box. So I grab my move tool, which is the top tool, and I'm just going to bring it up over there. Now, um, what I want to do next is I want to right click in this little empty area over here on the layer and I want to convert this to a smart object. Okay, This will allow me to make it smaller and rotate it or whatever I want to do as many times as I, as I need to without losing the quality. Okay, um, The next thing I'm going to do is name this the same name as the box I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to put it in the first box, so one and one. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to clip this image into box one. So the way you do that is you hold down the option key and notice as I hover over the, the line between the two, it gives me this cursor and then all I have to do is click. And notice that that will go into that box. It'll clip it in there. If I have the move tool, I can still move it around Okay, so my job is to basically um, make a unique picture out of this, knowing that I have a square to work with. Okay, so I'm going to go um, smaller. So I'm going to go Command T. So the Command key and T, and notice that I have a bounding box here. And what I want to do is take the corner handle and drag that in, and that will stay in proportion. So I'm going to drag it pretty small so I can see a lot of my image. Okay, now you just got to figure out, well, which part of the image do you want to show? Okay. So I sort of like this part over here. I'm going to press the return key when I'm done, and there's my first box. Okay, I'll do one more here. So this is my second picture from the edited folders again. I drag it over, okay? And then I'm gonna make sure that I put this right over the second one. I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object. Then I'm gonna double click to highlight the name and name it two because I'm gonna clip it in the second box, okay? I want to move it up so I can see that clip in there. All right. Okay, notice that clipped in there. I pressed the option key, clicked on the line between those two. And now I can go Command key and T, drag the corner handle, okay. smaller. And I move this over. Actually, I think I like it bigger. I'm going to go a little bit bigger, something like that. Press the return key. And so it's just a matter of doing that for all of my boxes here. Okay. And then when I'm done, 
I want to change my type down here. So that's down here at this type layer. So I just click on the typography here layer. And then I grab my type tool. And I'm just going to highlight this. You can name it whatever you want. Some people name it their first and last name. Other people name it photography. Some say art of photography. I'm going to go art of Art of Photography. Okay, now it's a tiny bit big, so all I have to do is click on my text tool and go up here and I'm gonna change it to 30 instead. Now let's go up to 34. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm just gonna grab my Move tool and move it over. And then when I'm totally done with it, I'm going to go to this little menu. It's called the layer menu, okay? Or the layer palette menu. And I'm gonna go down to flatten image. And then that's gonna make that grid all into one. So then I can send it off to be printed to have it back before the end of the semester for you.